Cause you can never ever get your bitch back, yeah Snap, crackle, pop, F and this sound, yeah Remember those nights playing Nick Knock, yeah Bust down the road, you know, TikTok, yeah She used to get back from the thrift shop, yeah Now she's in the power store, gift shop, yeah Let's talk about, do you, do you remember any like specific events uh, growing up that you like used to attend that was like molded you to who you are today that without that you wouldn't be rockstar major yeah um we got this thing in dc called family day um it was like down southwest so i grew up on that and being around the older guys you know what i'm saying um you know they used to like see me rap see me freestyle and stuff and encourage me you know like to keep going even though i didn't know what i was saying and stuff like that so that right there took me into believing that i could do something you know what I'm saying? Outside of, you know, the shit that a nigga might see on a regular basis, you know, growing up in the projects. But because that, because I knew that I could, you know, rap, even if I was on beat or off beat, like rhyming wise, like I knew that I, you know, had a chance outside of, you know, playing sports and shit. But growing up around that, you know, they say that uh, it take a village to raise a, to raise a man type thing. And I was one of those chosen ones to get that, you know, love and for the people to embrace me. You know what I'm saying? As of now. Mm, okay. Because a lot of people, uh, they always say that their hometown don't really support them. So for you to have the revert, I mean, that kind of pushed you up to a whole new level. Now, you said that you started really messing around with music around seven. You stopped doing ball around five. When do you feel like you started taking music serious? Like, what was that switch for you that was like, all right, I want to be a rapper? Uh, <laughs> the switch? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think um what well, to take it to actually take it serious was for me to was for me to um I had went to, I had went to uh prison and shit. Okay. So outside of that, like I was already into it. So I had to been already leading up to it. So you had like you had guys like uh Shy Glizzy out, you had Fat Trail out, of course you had Wale, you know what I'm saying, you had a guy named Light Show and then you had a guy named Q the Fool. So before, 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 before that, to me, I was, you know, trying to put myself in a perspective of, you know, coming out, but I was still making a transition from playing basketball to doing music. But it was hard for me to do that because of the schools, the requirements, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really able to stay in school, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was hard. So a lot of coaches and all that shit used to come out and watch me play and shit like that. So it was like, it was really, it was really hard for me to move, like outside of that, like, that's what it was. Mm, okay. <laughs> Do you yeah. feel like you got like uh, a lot of support from the people that was around you when you first started? And if you didn't, what kind of helped you overcome that? Because a lot of people, they want support from their close homies, their family. But um, the ones who don't, they find a way to overcome it. So what's your story? Shit. Like when I just came home, my mother wanted me to get a construction job. Wow. <laughs> Ain't nobody, ain't nobody believe in it. Not saying that they, they didn't, but you know, she wanted me to get a job, you know what I'm saying, first, rather just go into it head first, not really knowing what I was getting myself into. Um, outside of that, like far as like, the guys that I was actually rapping with, and, my, and like, it wasn't really a group, but it was like a group because like, you know, if we meet up at the studio, it's five, six, seven guys in there. And then that's just one group of guys that I'm rapping with, I'm like, you know, 12, 13 around this time, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going in there with them, they doing something. I might go to another studio and there's another group of guys in there, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not really, you know, a part of them. I'm just going in there just to outdo them and try to, you know, pick up, you know, extra skills and stuff from the person who house it is and things like that. So when it came to me actually indulging in the music, yeah, I had support. I had support. I had, a, I had enough support to make me say, I got it but it didn't really come from the people i thought it was going to come from mm, okay. you get what i'm saying mine was more outside than when i got incarcerated it was the extra push for the people to come in listen to me from different ethnicities to listen to my sound different genres different style you know what i'm saying because at, at one point in time i thought that i might was going to do um conscious rap you know just me telling you that i thought i would have been a conscious rap because of the way that i used to see stuff transpire on the news you know what i'm saying the way that the mind operate you would have thought that you would key in on that you get what i'm saying but watching a lot of stuff go on in life is like how could you just key in on one thing how could you put yourself in one box you know what i'm saying so i took myself out of that so it ain't matter 
after I let you hear it, whether you said it was good or not. Because especially if you said it was bad, that wasn't going to do nothing but force me to go make something better than what I just said anyway. So that's what it was. Wow, okay. Now, that's powerful for somebody up and coming to hear. Because um, a lot of people, when they up and coming, they get discouraged, especially when close people tell them, like, yo, you need to stop rapping. Like, you should go. Most people would have grabbed that construction job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so for you to look at it and be like, nah, I know my talent. This is what I'm doing. And sticking with it, you probably not only inspired people around you, but, you know, the younger people that was that was watching you. Because you can never, ever get your bitch back, yeah. Snap, crackle, pop, F and this sound, yeah. Remember those nights playing Nick Knock, yeah. Bust down the road, it on TikTok, yeah. She used to get back from the thrift shop, yeah. Now she's in the power store, gift shop, yeah.